Hey guys, how are you? Happy Wednesday. Wednesday is Zoom day. So I'm going a little early here today because we're going to hop over to our Zoom. We had the best time last week. Please join us and a big thank you to the folks who jumped in. We had so much fun. It was great. It was really, really awesome. So thank you, everybody. Hey, we got Shirley watching. How are you today? I don't know who that is. They can leave a message. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we got some good stuff. I'll get my ear in here so we can hear me a little better. Hey, Anne. Good to see you. How is everybody? So, um, we have had so much fun with this Artesia Trunk Show. We're going to go over a little few highlights here. We're going to be quick because I have a few more packages to get out. And then we'll be off and running. So I'm going to try to leave early today. Hey, Betsy, I know you're covered in snow. Keep warm. Um, just as a recap, this is the sweater we're going to be talking about again. I wore it yesterday and my lovely friend Trisha just told me how happy it was. So we've sold a couple of them and I wanted you guys to get a better look and to see some possibilities. Hello, Donna. Hello, Vicki. So just to give you a look at the tag, this is what we're doing. It's Ida Bell. It's a Barocco pattern and it is on Ravelry. And you can see the sizing is super generous. It goes up to a size 68. And here's all the charting that you will need as far as size goes and how many balls of yarn. So it uses two skeins of yarn. It uses the Artesia. And it also uses, this one's in Barocco Ultra Wool, which is definitely a store favorite. We love it. So uh, we'll just give you a quick tour of the trunk show and we'll go over to play with some yarn because that has been so much fun. And we got a sleepy Hank behind the desk. Pardon the mess back there, guys. That's what makes it so fun. A good look at the Emma Hella Hanks, all pretty and restocked. And here is the Artesia. So we've been having a really good time with these. This is Camellia, and we'll find a good one to go with this. Although a lot of these are really dynamic on a white background or cream. Light gray would also be good. So we're going to find some good combinations. Now the one in our model is this one. This is Quince. And you can see those yellows. It's just gorgeous when it's worked up. This stuff is so soft and cuddly. You got to jump into it, guys. You really do. Great sweater. I loved wearing it. So here are some possibilities. Uh, with Barocco Ultra Wool, right now we're sold out of the white, but we will be getting it back in. It is on back order. And look at that. Hey, Sandy. Oh, I'm so glad you got your yarn. The post office has been so goofy. So this one is Iris, Artesia color Iris. And I paired that together with Ultra Wool Blue Angel. This is Blue Angel color 3318. That would be really, really sweet. My friend Trish helped me pair some of these up. So thank you, Trish. This one is Morning Glory which I paired with a brighter blue, the blue sky. Um, be careful with your colors. You don't want it to drown out. You don't want your held along color, the Barocco Ultra Wool, to drown out the gorgeous complexity in the mohair. Uh, you really want the mohair to shine through. That's why I really, really like it with this neutral background. So we have Malabrigo Rios, always a store favorite. We have lots of natural, can't go wrong. So if I don't have the ultra wool or can't get it in fast enough, we have options. This is a great color for folks that like that nice olive earthy green. And this is camellia. Looks like a camellia bush. And this is the one in the sample, the quince. So that's gorgeous. Now I jumped over here and picked up a Rios called Melon. And look how gorgeous that combination is. I paired that with Peony. 
So that is fantastic, guys. What a perfect sweater to go towards spring in these wonderful colors. And this is the one I think my friend's going with. This is Carnation and Valentina. So that is going to really shine. That's going to be spectacular. Now, what I would not want to do with this, because I think it would just drown out, if I put it with the orange, it would be gorgeous. But I think you're going to lose some of it. It might work. I mean, I love this orange. It's gorgeous. This is um, glazed carrot. You don't get better than that. So it might work for you. I've been tending to lean towards a more neutral background. And as you can tell, we are well stocked in Rios. So let's see. We do have more in the back too, guys. Um, let's see what colors we can play with. Do any of these go? Not really. Let's take these over and see if we have any options over here. Um, no, I'm striking out there, guys. Sorry, I thought that would work, but it didn't. But as you see, we have lots and lots and lots of fun options. Still a little bit left on the sale table here from the sale. Click on enjoy. Here's Treasure Island, guys. So we definitely added and everything is on the website for you to click. There's the cashmere, guys. It's still on sale. So, um... I am wearing my Dark and Stormy by Thea Coleman, my fabulous sweater. I love this sweater. This is done in Madeline Tosh Vintage. We do have a shipment of Madeline Tosh DK. Should be here in two to three weeks. We are super excited about it. And let's see what else can we tell you about as far as news. We're waiting on some Emma yarn. I believe Emma has shipped out her kits. I have not gotten tracking on those. So if you got your yarn direct drop ship from Emma for Botanique, please shoot me a little note. Let me know you received it. Um, she didn't send me tracking on it, but uh, she said she's working on them and they're pretty much wrapping up. So keep me posted. Hey, Maya, miss you tons. And I'm going to get to my packages here and wrap up for the night. Leave you with a gorgeous picture of my mom's shawl. This is Winter Lights by Stephen West. And of course, we have some gorgeous kits by Sheep Graffiti. And here are the kits. And these are all online under Hiber Knit Along. If you put silky, they're all silky you. So if you put the word silky into the search, they're going to come up that way too. So lots of pretty yarn. And on this getting cloudy day that looks like we're going to get some cold winter weather, we're going to say goodbye with pretty yarn. Have a great night, guys. Bye.